cyber dopamine here. If you have a Windows handheld like an ROG Ally X or Ally Legion Go or whatever else you may have, this is what your handheld looks like by default. Okay. And this is what it looks like cleaned up. Yes, better performance. Yes, better battery. Better everything. Just a better experience. I'm going to show you how I get this done. And I'm also going to show you some other insane tweaks that I think are very necessary to have on these Windows handhelds. So Windows is pretty gnarly on these handhelds. I'm not going to talk much about it, but you've got like the alternative, which is SteamOS. It's like that perfect handheld experience. But if you install SteamOS or like Baza on your handheld, you're going to miss out on a few features that I love, like AM, FMF, frame generation and I don't know, you can't do as much. You can't mod games and things like that. So Windows is still necessary to have. Um, and here are some tricks that I've done with every handheld to cope with Windows. If you think about it, Windows used to be like this awesome operating system. It did what it was supposed to do. Now it's just a bunch of Microsoft business deals tied into it. Freaking advertisements, just like bloatware, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Like We don't care about this. Why is it pre-installed on our operating system? Like, what do I do to clean this all up is uh it's something called bloaty nosy and i know some of you heard it some of you haven't um the purpose of this application is to completely wipe everything that is not supposed to be there it is meant to de-bloat your handheld it can be pretty aggressive i'm not gonna lie so you got to make sure you know what you're doing and i'll show you what i do but i mean the difference is just staggering background processes eliminated bloatware applications one drive popping up gone you know not a problem so let me show you how it's done so here you can see once you've extracted everything and you've gotten it up and running uh links in the description there's categories these are things that you can remove and so i encourage you to go through these categories um the way i do it is i just throw everything into the bin there's a thing in here though that i like to keep on right and that is power throttling this just prioritizes things like if you're running a game it'll shut the things in the background behind it just a little bit um, i keep that in there and then from here on out i just click apply make sure you go through to you know double check you might use this for more than just gaming and so if that's the case i'd be very careful about what you do here but for me it's just a gaming device right i use it for its reason and i don't care about anything else so yeah, you'll click apply after you've ran the terminal and then it'll let you know things are done. You might get some errors saying this couldn't be installed, that couldn't be installed, but it's better than nothing, right? So now we're good. Um, so you just exit out of here. And then after this part, if you switch over to bloat E on the right, these are some more things. And so what I do is I will just go ahead and move all of these over to the right and then make sure though you grab armory crate and any asus piece of software make sure you bring that back into your install you don't want those disappearing on you um you'll have to reinstall if worse comes to worse not a big deal but you can see all this crap that most of us never use ready to be installed and so go ahead and do so it might take a minute. It took me about five minutes on this ally. It took me about, I don't know, 40 seconds on the previous ally. It's always different, but give it some time. Let it do its thing. And then just reset your device after this. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is so underrated. I know that this is going to become a prominent handheld feature in the future. Um, this is auto TDP. So I use handheld companion for just this reason alone. If you see here, I can switch it on. And I could do it for the GPU as well, right? The CPU and GPU part. What it does is it dynamically changes your TDP, the amount of power going through your device to play your games based off the frame rates that you're getting. So if you're getting, you know, your target frame rate is 30 frames per second, right? Um, every time the game goes up above that, like 60 frames, 40, 50 frames, your TDP drops down. So it brings it back down to that constant 30 FPS. And what that ends up doing is it's using a lot less power than what you're normally using if you're at like a 12 watt TDB preset, performance preset, turbo preset. Um, it saves all that power so well and it changes by the second. 
box, he made a video where he did that deep dive stuff with it. And in some cases, this feature alone can almost double your battery life. There's a drawback though, it's not as consistent with frame rates, right? Like you might notice a little bit of stutters, but it's nothing detrimental. It's nothing problematic in my experience. But again, it's so essential to have. Also, shout out to FlexiSpot. I tend to sit quite a bit, and I'd assume you do as well. And good posture is something we as humans are losing out on as we evolve. So FlexiSpot, they make super cool desks and chairs. They asked if I wanted their C7 chair, and I said yes. And the reason why is because this chair has a central focus on posture when sitting. But let's talk about durability. This thing can take a freaking beating more than most chairs on the market. The spinning feature is freaking awesome because it just keeps spinning. You can adjust the lumbar so it matches your arch and then you can lock it in place. The armrest is adjustable as well. There's a freaking kickstand, which is rad. And I'm not gonna lie, I spent a lot of time on here when I test out handhelds and doom scroll through Twitter. And you can adjust the seat depth, which is freaking cool. And then this locks the recliner when you need to force yourself to be more productive. And then this little thing is crazy. When I twist it, it tightens up the recliner sensitivity. And so I can make it fit my upper body weight perfectly. This thing feels expensive and it, it actually makes sitting fun. The link is in the description, so check it out. The next thing is pretty crazy um, that it's not figured out yet. And it's the sleep function. You know, I preach SteamOS because you can just put it to sleep, come back a couple days later, and pick up where you left off. Um, but there's a program on Windows called Nirna. And what this does is it makes it so that when you put your device to sleep, your games will actually pause and freeze. Um, that's a problem with sleep mode on Windows is, you know, if I'm playing Elden Ring, um, chances are the game is still running and the device isn't shut off completely. It doesn't go into that full sleep mode. With Nirna, it'll actually pause the game. So take a look at right here. You've got this giant turtle lifting his foot. When I put the device to sleep and I turn it back on, his foot is exactly where it had been left off. Minus a couple seconds, right? The Steam Deck does that really well. But if I were to turn this device off on the Legion Go where I don't have Nirna installed, the device won't turn off and it'll the guy will keep moving and you'll end up waking up dead so it doesn't fix the sleep function entirely because you will run into those classic windows sleep issues but it does help with game stability and and it just removes a couple errors right the next thing is completely underrated this is what i choose to do as opposed to near none that is hibernate um it takes about five seconds to turn off the device and it takes about five to eight seconds for it to turn back on. Oh but hibernation is is the bee's knees. For the, this video, I, I have my old ally, right? And uh, the last time I had been playing on this device was about two weeks ago for another video. And when I turned this device on, it picked up exactly where I left it off two weeks ago in Subnautica. And the, the battery only dropped down like I don't know, like 5%. It was crazy. It was, I mean, it just blew my mind. It totally shuts down the computer and still freezes everything. The only catch is it takes a bit more time to boot back up and to boot back down. But hibernation is an absolute must if you do play on the go like I do and you're tired of sleep mode, not putting your device to sleep. This, this next one is something that is a huge deal. In fact, so studies have come out proving this. Um, audio is actually more immersive than visual in some cases. If you're playing a great game with bad audio, you can't fully get immersed in that world. If you're playing a game with crappy graphics with real good audio, you're far more immersed in that world. And so effects sound. Um, it's an EQ, right? We all have EQs, I get it. But these bottom left features, you've got your clarity and your surround. And for the ally speakers, what I do is I bump up the surround just by a little bit, not too much. And the clarity I bump up a little bit as well. And then I'll actually bring up the low ends on the EQ. I'm telling you, it makes 
your speakers feel like, it's coating around your whole head, like a, like headphones. It's actually kind of freaky if you think about it. It reminds me of my MacBook Pro. It does the same thing. It completely changes the audio quality and makes it so much better than what it is by default. Even Dolby Atmos can't do what effects sound can do. And it's an absolute must, um, especially with the Legion Go. That's another huge thing. You should probably 100% install that. Listen, you don't have to sub if you don't want to, um, but tell me what I can do to make these videos better. Thank you guys for taking the time to uh, check this out. Hopefully I helped you out. Um, I do polls where you, you guys can vote on videos um, that you want uploaded. So make sure you participate in that. But anyways, thank you guys and peace out.